Welcome to Team Papyrus, which is my good friend Denny Chavez Lupe and myself Rebecca Merritt. Our project auto summarizes large government transcripts so that our public um, can glean useful information from these documents in a more digestible way. There are a lot of textual data and government documents out there that are, I think, probably underutilized, probably because it's a bit overwhelming to read hundreds of pages in a single document. There's a lot of useful information in these documents, but it's just buried or you know, hiding under a lot of um, boring sentiment. So we aim to uncover the most useful information um, from transcripts, which don't usually come with executive summaries and the like, so that journalists and the public don't have to take on the burden of sifting through hundreds of pages. Firstly, we looked into summarization tools like Summly, but from my understanding, it's not entirely free, so we were a bit limited there. Online tools like Resumer often miss a lot of context, making it difficult to understand the information extracted into the summary. Also, they're not really tailored towards government transcript type data and usually require the user to have clean formatted data to paste into the window for it to be extracted to work. So we um, aim for our tool to allow the user to upload a PDF file or enter a URL um, where it will extract the text out of the PDF file or URL, place into body and text fields, clean and format it and get it ready for processing and calculating weights for scoring the most informative paragraphs into a summary doc to be downloaded later. We ran out of time of properly integrating the algorithms in the front end, but this is what it will look like to the end user. So let's uh, take a look at our first um, example document, which is a transcript of the Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull. Um, as you can see, it's quite lengthy, and there's a lot of boring sentiment in there. There's uh, some interesting information uh, when it comes. So this, what I'm showing you here, is the extracted text that's been clean and formatted. Um, around bud budget forecasting and other facts and figures that would be really useful amongst all the boring sentiment. <laughs> um, so if we run our tool in the back end, so this text here, um, I just copied and pasted it basically into here to save a bit of time. And as you can see, it reduced about 77 paragraphs um, to the original text is here, hundreds of lines, um, down to 10 key paragraphs um, that look at budget forecasting, give timelines, status updates, facts and figures that journalists and, and the public would find useful, um, basically. If we look at another example, um, and this is probably a more compelling example, if we look at uh, Senate estimates, so this is extracted from this so there's a bunch of Senate estimates here, and we extracted like a, almost a 200-page Senate estimate into this really lengthy text file that goes on for days. And it's like about 7,354 lines. Um, there's some useful information here, once again, on budget estimates, um, timelines, status updates. Uh, so if we run our tool in the back end, So this text is being copied and pasted into here just to save a bit of time. Um, and as you can see, it reduces this down to about 816 lines. It was originally like 7,000 something lines. <laughs> so it's quite a reduction. And it looks at um, important facts and figures. One thing we also built in the tools to make it a bit robust against um, incorrections that are made in transcripts. So for example, um, there was an incorrection made in the original document, if we have a look here, where somebody accidentally quoted the wrong figure, and that's okay, humans make mistakes, but our summary tool will basically pick up on those mistakes and put them in the summary so people are getting the correct information. Um, and also for documents that are more discussion-led, so this is an extract from uh, the, the same transcripts that we used for, my, uh, for the Prime Minister's Malcolm Turnbull's transcript. But now we've got an algorithm that takes different things out of this document. So instead of looking at the facts and figures, it takes um, topics. And we used like a couple of algorithms like term frequency, inverse document frequency, and text rank um, to get discussion led. All the, the key paragraphs that, that really um, bring out the discussion and the issues and the debates. So here we've got um, everything that was discussed at the G20 meeting recently um, and some heavy duty kind of conversations around national security. Uh, yeah, so I think future plans, we plan to complement this tool by um, having, uh, you know, using voice, uh, voice recognition software to transcribe certain estimates in real time. 